the hour. Meteorologist Maureen McCann with you here on this Thursday, getting closer to the weekend. As you think about your outdoor plans, know that we still have to contend with some thunderstorms, but the rain chances will be fluctuating a little bit over the course of the next few days. Starting with today, that first weather headline, fewer storms around, and that will be a welcome change after some active afternoons. No break from the heat or humidity, though. We'll keep those temperatures running hot. But we will see some subtle changes in the rain chances when we turn to the weekend forecast in the seven day here in a moment. But looking back on yesterday, 95 degrees. We've had a stretch of mid 90s going back to the weekend. Average high for this time of year is 92. So for the most part, we've been consistently above that. I think today we will see more mid 90s showing up as we have fewer storms around to provide that cooling relief. High pressure over the western Atlantic as that builds, it will help send in an easterly flow. No there's just enough moisture in the Atlantic for a straight onshore moving shower, but generally that air upstream is much drier, so that's why Storm Tracker 13 is going to be much quieter today with fewer showers and storms. You can see that drier air reflected on the atmospheric moisture graphic here. Remember, the darker the brown, the drier the air is, so that is going to be building in today. And tomorrow as well, perhaps a few more storms tomorrow afternoon. But we're also going to see some moisture coming in from the east, helping to boost rain chances in the weekend forecast. More so during the afternoon, so as you think about your weekend plans, know that this will mostly be there during the afternoon, early evening hours. Sea breeze-driven activity with sufficient moisture will get that through Sunday as well, but it's not going to be a washout of a weekend. Early next week, look at that, some drier air coming back in, so we'll keep the rain chances a little bit lower in the early portion next week in the seven-day forecast. So after some active afternoons, we're getting to uh, drop that rain chance today. Good news for if you are making beach plans, temperatures there closer to 90 degrees, and that'll be the result of that easterly wind coming in around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Rain chance at 10%. Really, if anyone gets a stray shower or storm today, you'll be more favored for that to the west of I-95 and certainly west of I-4 during the afternoon. So keeping in that 20% rain chance, temperatures back in the rain range are around 94 degrees for inland areas and tomorrow we're back to around 93. We'll stay at or above that average into early next week. Temperatures are going to be pretty consistent during the nighttime hours too, ranging in the mid 70s. So know that it's not going to be a washout. We see this forecast and rain chances are every day. It'll be mainly during the afternoon hours that we have to be prepared for periods of locally heavy rain, gusty winds, and frequent lightning that could accompany any cell. When I'm back in less than 10 minutes, I'll show you where some of the warmer neighborhoods are getting up the door on this Thursday morning. It's over to traffic now, and we'll get a live look at Storm Tracker 13 Doppler radar. We're going to update on some construction in Flagler County, 95 northbound near Palm Coast Parkway. We had two right lanes blocked, then a right lane, and now all lanes are back open here, 95. So smooth commute for drivers out there. Downtown Orlando is looking pretty good. This is I-4 uh, near the 408. I-4 uh, east here. You can see some traffic, I-4 west as well, but really it's a light commute. In fact, uh, traffic doesn't have to slow down. Our sensors indicating no big problems. That's why you see all the green there on the road. Way. Drive times, if you're on the 408, look really good right now. They're all up to speed as you travel towards downtown Orlando. 417, also up to speed, 14 minutes from 1792 to the 408. This update brought to you by your Central Florida Hyundai dealers.